Hello there. Welcome back to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. Today I'm using Gothorm Tonsterina by uh, Southern Witchcrafts. This is a special with TRC, a collaboration. I think they only sell it on the Razor Company website. Um, I had this a while ago, at least a year ago, I think. It smells great. I really like it. It's very different, though. Like most of Southern Witchcrafts, they, you know, they kind of subvert expectations and they kind of go for these very off-the-wall not standard scents, which I kind of like. Um, this one's got patchouli, bergamot, sandalwood, lavender, basil, and musk. For me, it's very, very, very dry. It's a very dry, woody, woody scent. Um, so I, I do get the sandalwood, but it's not like a creamy sandalwood. There's no creaminess to the scent at all. It's very, like, dry and desiccated. It smells good, though. I do like the woodiness on there. I don't really get a lot of the lavender. Some of the basil and the musk. It's really nice. I mean, I dig the scent, but it is different. Um, if you had put these seven scent notes in with some a different soap company, it would have smelled a lot different. Um, I don't know how they made it smell so kind of like dry and graveyardy, but they did, and it works. Uh, I've got pre-shave loaded up already. Got some Prosso, and I just added some water right before I started talking to you guys. Got my lather all made up here with my vintage Made Right with a Bodhi silver tip. No, two band badger knot. We're gonna get into the lather real quick. I love Southern Witchcraft if you've never used their, their soaps before. It's a vegan soap. I don't recall all the ingredients on their soap and they don't have a label on, at least on this one. I think they might on, oh, let me check real quick. I have Desirology as well. No, nope. they have scent notes on the front. I like that, but they don't have the ingredients list and I can't recall off the top of my head, but it's vegan. So if you're looking for a vegan soap, you don't like tallow for whatever reason, I don't judge. Um, this is one of your options out there. And for my two cents, as far as like the modern vegan options go, not counting vintage stuff like Martin de Condre and whatnot, but for modern, you know, artisan soap companies, I think that uh, Southern Witchcrafts has the best vegan base. That's just me, my opinion. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure some people would disagree with me. PAA is up there, everyone likes PAA. They got a lot of scent options and stuff. Uh, but I dig Southern Witchcraft. I think their base is a little better. I know Amy is working on a new vegan base, their VR2, and it's gonna come out in a new line that he, uh, Peter, the guy that runs Amy, does with his daughter. They're making a new, like, uh, eco-friendly kind of, and so it's a vegan soap, and it's all glass jars and, and metal lids that can be recycled, and it's all environmentally friendly. I can't remember what that's called off the top of my head. It's not formally reduced. I think they just did a Halloween release lurch in that base, maybe. Um, but I think the official launch of that is coming uh, next month, maybe. Don't quote me on that. I've been reading about it. It's interesting. Here's... The, all the early reviews from it are quite good. So for the shade today, Oldies But Goodies. Well, this is an Oldie But Goodie. The Ambassador I've had for quite some time now. I got it down to setting two and a half. Got a brand new, fresh, sharp uh, Gillette 7 o'clock Super uh, Platinum, the Blacks. And then obviously the Blackland Osprey that I've been using on camera exclusively for the uh, last little bit, week and a half, something like that. Um, I've used this almost exclusively since I got it. Uh, I did have one off shave. Uh, I had some irritation, so I didn't shave for a day, and then I used the winning because I really wanted a good shave, and I hadn't been having good shaves with this. Uh, but I'll get into that with the shave. So we'll start. I got the the black lens set. It's setting where are we at four, which is kind of where I started out at when I first started using this. I've used it um, wide open. I didn't really care for it wide open. Um, it was okay with the grain, but against the grain, it didn't really work well for me. But I'm not usually a wide open, big blade gap kind of guy, so. Uh, but four seems to be where it was at for me. It was very smooth with the grain, but I did get irritation. Uh, it's been kind of the theme of my experience with the Osprey is that it's not like a lot of irritation. I'm not ending the shade with a bunch of splotchiness or a bunch of weepers, but I'm still getting irritation, particularly on the bottom of my neck. Um, I actually had ingrown hairs in my neck for like the first time in, I don't know, I don't know how long. I haven't had them since I started, very rarely have I had them since I started DE shaving. 
Oh, and I got away from cartridges, but I had three of them I had to pick out from that area where I have a scarf on my Adam's apple. It was not fun. I thought it was just one, and then turns out not. So that wasn't great. So on setting four, I mean, it's mowing down at three days growth, like I said, I think I said, and it's mowing it down, it's smooth. I do like it on setting four. When I used it, um, and this is just my experience, obviously. When I used it more open, when I had a higher setting, um, I had more blade feel but I didn't really feel like I had a more efficient shave, if that makes sense. So like at the end of the shave, how close it was versus like, you know, at a seven versus a four, I kind of felt it was pretty similar. And I always kind of err on a, I don't want blade fill if I don't have to have blade fill kind of a guy. That was pretty good. I mean, that was a good pass. I don't know why I was expecting anything different. I know I'm kind of bashing on it right now, but usually the last pass, it's kind of puts it where I, you know, where I don't like it. So the ambassador, same thing, fresh, um, chic, sorry, fresh Gillette, seven o'clock black. I have this one set at two and a half, which is kind of my go-to setting for this. Uh, obviously they don't match. The Rex goes up to six and the Osprey goes up to nine. Um, but I feel like this will probably be pretty similar to that four. Louder. I didn't, didn't really think about that. It's a lot louder than the than the Osprey. Touch more blade feel, even on a two and a half, than the Osprey. Arguably the, not arguably, my experience is, uh, that was a little smoother. Probably the same level of efficiency, I mean, it's with the grain, so, I mean, it's still got plenty of growth to fight. Probably pretty same on the efficiency level. I do like the, like forgetting names right now. I do like the Rex, the Ambassador. I've had it for quite some time. It was, um, there was a learning curve to it. When I first got it, I was like, holy moly, there's a lot of plate bill. Um, I expected it to be more like a fat boy because that was kind of my experience with adjustables at that point. I can't remember what I got. I, I traded for it, but I can't remember what I traded for it. Anyways, um, so it was a little bit of a learning curve to for that blade feel. Um, on the higher settings, it definitely likes having a uh, riding the guard versus riding the cap helps a lot of people But I found up here in the lower settings really didn't matter too much Riding the guard or riding the cap it all works um, Yeah, so we'll leave it on the same settings the whole shape so cross the grain Definitely less blade feel. I mean, it's more evident after having used the the ambassador for a pass. That there's a lot of less, a lot less blade feel, which in general I like. That's pretty good.
Oh, I didn't get that one spot. Oh, look, I got a little weeper right here. I don't know why. It's a lot louder. It does feel different. The ambassador has more play feel. I know I said that more than once, but that's kind of like the big distinction right now between them. But it still feels really smooth. I still got that one little weeper there, I don't know why. And that's that's kind of been like the theme. Every once in a while, I, like I'm having a good shave, I'm like, okay, I do like this razor. But then I get like weird mystery weepers, I get weird mystery irritation, and I like don't feel any issues during the shave, and yet after the shave, you know, my bottom of my neck's irritated, and I got these ingrown hairs, I, I can't figure out why. It's kind of weird. Now before you say it's me, which is probably a wise thing to say. Oh, it's common denominator. Um, I've used the same routine every time I've used this razor since I bought it. I have had at least 48 hours worth of growth, uh, starting from the first shape. I always wait, like I shave and I don't shave a day and then I always shave with it again. I always make sure that I have a day off between shaves and make sure that it healed properly so I wasn't getting irritation from that. Um, I usually get a better shave if I have a little bit of growth than if I shave daily. So I was kind of taking all those factors into account. I kept my routine the same. I use the same soaps and bases that I'm familiar with. I use the same pre-shave routine that I've been using for months. Um, I did try multiple different blades just in case, you know, it's a blade picky razor. I didn't really find that that made a difference. It, the blades work well, as well as they, you know, they all seem pretty even. I tried like four different blades, um, but I didn't find that it made a difference in this like weird irritation that I'm getting. All right, proof is in the pudding, so to speak. Still on setting four. There's not a lot of blade feel, but you can definitely feel it working. Like I have no doubt that this is getting those hairs. The impression I get during the shave is that it's mild but efficient. It feels really smooth. I'm not getting any irritation like during the shave. It doesn't feel like it's pulling or tugging. It feels super smooth actually. It feels just as smooth as it did with the grain. And yeah, I keep getting only little weepers on this side and I don't know why. Definitely more blade feel with the, the ambassador. I 
probably took it down. I'll put it on too just to see if it's more similar. So look, I got a weeper here, weeper here, weeper here. I got like four or five right there, one right here. I don't think I got any on my neck. I don't have any on the rec side, which is surprising because it feels more aggressive. It's got more blade feel. Um, but yeah, I got all these weepers on this side and I don't know why because it felt super smooth. Even with the grain, it felt super smooth with this blade. I didn't have any issues with tugging. And yeah, this is kind of the experience I've been getting every shade with this. And it's mind boggling. I don't get it. I'm gonna do, well, we'll just talk right here. So we'll say, I haven't done a cold water rinse yet. My cheek's a little bit smoother on the rec side. It's not a lot. I mean, it's the, the Osprey is pretty um, efficient. But there's a couple little spots here. Maybe if I did some more buffing, that's not necessary with the Ambassador. Um, so I'd say, yeah, the, the Ambassador wins as far as efficiency. It's a little bit smoother. Well, the console, the, excuse me, the console, the Osprey might be a little smoother because it doesn't have as much blade feel, but it it does have a lack of efficiency compared to, comparatively speaking. It's not like a significant difference, but it's a difference. And the irritation that I, I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't know. I'm gonna do a quick touch up pass real quick. Um, I'm gonna keep the touch up pass with the same rates or on the same side so I don't mess up the touch up pass or the final results. And then I'll do a cold water splash and I'll be right back with my final results. All right, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, final results, I did that, you know, a little bit of touch up pass with the respective razor on each side, the Osprey on this side and the Ambassador on this side. Um, I didn't go crazy, just a couple passes to get this spot from my, my ear to my neck. So you can see I started bleeding right here. I don't know why. It didn't hurt. And I don't feel like it's a nick. I think it's just like a little weeper. Um, so I had like five or six weepers on my cheeks. I had like two or three on my neck. Most of them closed up with the cold water rinse. Um, I don't think I had any on the ambassador side. I didn't notice any. That's a little red spot from a blemish I had. It's not a nick or nothing. Uh, as far as the face feel, um, definitely closer on the ambassador side. Um, after the, the rinse and everything, I can feel a little growth still with the, the Osprey side. Uh, when I can't, I can't feel anything with the ambassador side. The ambassador is like the epitome of efficiency for me. Um, super, super um, tight, or my skin is super tight right now because I haven't um, put any splash on or anything, but uh, super smooth is what I was going for. A little tongue tied this morning. Same with the kind of where I did the touch up pass, it's smoother. Uh, the ambassador all around is a, is a much more efficient and a smooth shave. And I. <laughs> I really like shaving with the Osprey, to be clear. The experience of shaving with it was nice. I didn't cut myself, it didn't feel uncomfortable, it didn't feel tuggy, it didn't feel um, you know, like it was pulling hairs or nothing. It was very smooth, it felt nice. I do like the way it feels in my hand, I like the way it feels in my face, but when I get to the end of the shave, every shave that I've had so far, I have weepers, I don't know why. Um, Maybe it's not a lot, maybe there's some more than other days, but you know, I'm getting these weepers and I don't know why, and I'm getting irritation. And even when it looks like it's okay, like, oh, okay, whatever, I got a couple weepers and I do a cold water splash and then it stops. And I put on the splash and it feels like, like I had the worst shape ever. So we're gonna do that right now. I was gonna use the matching Gothorm Tonstrina splash, which I like, got that really dry, desiccated, woody smell. But then I remembered that the um, Southern Witchcrafts Splashes are alcohol free. Uh, they just got, uh, what are they? Just witch hazel and water, aloe, I don't mean, glycerin. I mean, they're nice splashes, but there's no alcohol. And I kind of wanted to check and see if there was a difference in that fuel, that burn from um, my ambassador side versus my osprey side. So I'm using this PAA Songa de Drago, which is a nice woody scent. 
it matches because I'm going to put it on a oud wood dupe here in a minute anyways for an EDP. And I say I got a couple. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm, I'm afraid to do this. So I ain't going to lie. Yeah, it was a little, a little bit of a burn. Whew. So to be fair, I did get a little bit of a natural shape burn from both sides. Significantly more on the, on the Osprey side, though. Like, the, the Ambassador side already feels fine. This still tingles a little bit. So I, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know that anyone else has been having this experience. It might just be me. It doesn't work for my skin type or something. I, I don't know. Um, but I think after this, like, week and a half here, I think I'm going to take advantage of the 30-day the return policy that Blackland has, and I think I'm going to send it back. Um, I do really like it. I do like the design. I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's head heavy with all the adjustment mechanism part being up there in the neck. Um, it does have standard threading, but it doesn't look right if you try to put like another handle on there because the neck is so big. Just in case you're wondering like if you had some cool whatever handles. Okay, this one doesn't want to thread on, but you can see that there's like that gap. So it looks kind of funny. I threaded a couple different handles on here. I don't have any other handles sitting around here. Nope, you'll just have to believe me. Um, but it's the, the neck is a wider diameter than most handles, and so it looks a little weird uh, if you put on a different handle. That's just my, my thoughts. Um, I do dig the design, I like this kind of hollow handle design with that brass insert to keep the weight there. It's cool. It's, it's definitely he more head heavy. It doesn't feel as balanced as, like, say, the Ambassador. It feels very balanced. It's just, it's heavy all the way through. It's a little lighter in the, in the tail end, obviously, but... It feels pretty balanced. This one feels a lot more head heavy. Um, not a big deal. Like I said, I, don't, I didn't. I don't dislike it. I like the razor, but for whatever reason, the shaves aren't aren't getting there for me. I'm still getting irritation. I'm bleeding. I don't know why. Um, I'm getting ingrown hairs after a week of shaving with it. I don't like that. I don't like getting ingrown hairs. I haven't had an ingrown hair in at least a year. It's been a while. Like I used to get them often on my neck. It was kind of a problem area if you want to use cartridges, and then I switched to DE shaving. That was one of the primary reasons that I switched to DE shaving was I heard it was better for your skin and better for ingrown hairs that I always had, and uh, really helped on that regard. And then, and then I started getting ingrown hairs again using this. And I don't know why. And it might have been because of the irritation, and the irritation caused some inflammation and that whatever. But the end result is I wasn't getting that before. Didn't really like having to dig an ingrown hair out of my neck, and so I'm just not. It didn't work for me. Sorry, uh, I did the design, but I'm gonna have to send it back and put that money towards something else because I just don't think I can keep a razor around and use it, you know, more often or use it on it. You know, I want to be able to use a razor whenever I want, and this one I don't. I don't, if I know if I keep it, it's just gonna sit there. I'm not gonna want to use it because I know the end of the shave. Like I might enjoy the shave itself, but the end of the shave, I'm gonna have little red blood dots everywhere, and I'm gonna get ingrown hairs, and I don't want to deal with any of that stuff. So. Sorry, Blackland, but I hope all of you have better experiences with it, I'm sure. I haven't really heard a lot of negative reviews about it, so it might just be me. It might just be a one-off thing. Oh, I know Fayez, I guess, he was kind of having a similar result. So maybe it's not a one-off thing. Um, I don't know. But good luck on your trials. If you decide to get one, let me know if you have one. I know some other people have commented that they've had one, and they some people have had mixed success. I think there's one guy that said he wasn't sure about it, and there's someone else that said they've been on their fifth shave doing head shaves, and they've been loving it ever since, so... Um, you know, don't don't just take my word with it and run. You take some more reviews and, and you know, get a good balanced opinion out there um, for what it's worth. But that was a shave. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go get out of this wet shirt and I'm going to spray on some Oud Wood, some Boys Oud. It's a Oud Wood dupe from Dua. It smells fantastic. Nice and woody. Um, skin feels great. A little, yeah, still got a little weeper spot there. But other than that, I enjoyed the shape. I enjoyed talking with you. I hope you enjoyed the review and got something out of it, even though it wasn't the best positive review. And I'll see you here next time.